Hey, it's me. I'm doing a reading on Leo. So let me start with the angels and ancestors oracle and see what they have to say. So you have a fire guardian. Ignite your passions. This is an angel. Broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Look at that. You have a guardian angel. Wow. You are not alone. Oh my God. And the warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. She wolf, unleash the wild within. And um, yeah, she wolf. There's a wolf, a woman, and a moon. Mountains, stand your ground. And high priestess. Cancer, number two. Harness, mystic, power. That's an angel. So the high priestess's counterpart is the high priest or the hair font. So the high priestess, number two, and the hair font, number five. So you have Cancer and Taurus, their counterparts, they match. Chakra love, so that has to do with the heart, feelings, emotions, mentor, whoever you look up to, and uh, whose advice and respect be you. And surrender. So there's a triangle and, a, and an eye. So yeah, your third eye is awakening. So you could be seeing things that um, other people don't see. But because you're awakened and your third eye is active, you're able to see things uh, beyond what most people see. So that would be your um, intuitive senses activating. Confirmation, yeah, con that's con that, that is confirmation. That is confirmation of everything that I've said and everything they have, you have heard. That's confirmation that it's all true. Sensual expression, that's related to your, um, I think it's base chakra. Either base chakra or sacral chakra, one of those. But it has to do with sensual expression. Feeling and form has to do with your heart emotions feeling and abundance yes you have to have that abundant mindset if you want to attract abundance so what i'm hearing is um this is confirmation that what you're hearing it's true and this has to do with your essential expression your feeling your form and your heart your emotions and your abundance so you have the seven of cups reversed so you know what you want King of Swords, Libra, um, making good judgment and um, being balanced about it. So having good judgment and, and being balanced about it, being objective. Ooh, 
Ooh, look at that. Queen of Wands, which is the Queen of Wands is a Leo, which I'm doing the reading on. So the Queen of Wands is a Leo. So that would be August, number eight, strength. So I'm seeing um, star number 17, Aquarius, and that is Lady Isis. So you're being guided and you're healing. So you're being guided to heal. Not just yourself, but others. So you have Queen of Wands, Leo, and the Star, Aquarius. And yeah, Four of Cups. You want more than Four of Cups, you want to be happy. Look at that. The lovers. <laughs> so that would be Gemini, number six. So yeah, you have a match, your counterpart. So if you have the high priestess here, this, that would be internal guidance, your internal intu intuition. So the hierophant or high priest would be the external guidance or external intuition. So while the high priestess is about intuition, the hair font is about external guidance. So internal, external. So the high priestesses match is the hair font, the external guidance. And that would be her, uh, her counterpart. So their counterparts, their matches. Oh, oh my God, I just hung out with the hair font and here he is. Hair, the hair font, number five, Taurus. Whoa. So they are lovers, they're matches, they're counterparts. So you have the high priestess here, number two, Cancer, and the hair font or high priest, number five, Taurus. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god, and then you have the lovers right here. Whoa. So the hair font is the high pieces match, and that makes them. And you have, oh my God, you have the King of Wands and the Magician. Oh, wow. So the Magician is gonna make that happen. So they are matches, they're counterparts. They're supposed to be together because when they're together, they're matches and that would make them lovers. Their matches. Right here. The high basis and the hair font. Yep. And the magician is going to make that happen. Yep. And since I'm doing the reading for the Queen of Wands, Leo, <laughs> the King of Wands would be Aries, which showed up like the hair font. All right. Oh my God, the Queen of Wands. Oh my God. The King of Wands, Aries, and the Queen of Wands, Leo. Oh my God. So you have counterparts here. You have the High Priestess and the hair font, the Lovers, and the king of wands and the queen of wands. That's crazy. Magician. Wow, lovers. The hair font. I just talked about the hair font.
Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> wow. Okay. All right, so let me get to the cards. So let's see. Yeah, they're matches. You have the Queen and King of Wands. So Leo and Aries. And this magician is going to make this happen. They're supposed to be together because they match. They're matches, the lovers. And oh my god, that, that's her match. You have the hair font and the high priestess, they're matches. And yeah, they're supposed to be in peace, they're supposed to be abundant. They're healing from a broken heart. They're watching each other. And that's an equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles. They want to collaborate. Because they're both intuitive, this is gonna happen very quickly. They want more than four cups. They would be happy with the ten of cups. So you have ten of pentacles, abundance, legacy, and ten of cups, happiness. And then they will reach this temperance. When you have the two of cups and the lovers combined in one, and you get temperance. This is a very strong connection that is protected by the divine, by Archangel Michael. And then when that happens, you have a new creation. That's supposed to happen. All right. So let me get these cards that So, um, oh my God, again, with the King of Cups, balance and strength, they're both strong. Again, Leo, number eight, and the Fool, zero, Aquarius, new start. So I'm getting... Um, How many cards are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cards total or nine signs. So if this is about surrender, that's this is confirmation. This whole reading is confirmation of that. And yeah, abundance, abundance. And if this is about um, being a warrior and being fearless and standing strong, yeah, intuition, high priestess, and stand your ground. Mountains. All right, so this has to do with Setting your ground when you're being attacked for no reason and trusting your intuition. 
So stand your ground like a mountain and harness your mystic power like high priestess to trust your intuition. And this is confirmation. And that you're supposed to be abundant. Yep. And because of that, you need to be balanced. You need to be strong. You, you need to start over. You need to have a new start. You could be the Queen of Wands, Leo. Your match is the King of Wands in Aries. The Magician. The universe, the divine, is going to make this happen because it's your destiny for things to work out that way. And no one else can change that but the creator. Yeah, they're matches, they're counterparts, so they're supposed to be together. They're supposed to be lovers because they are lovers. They're counterparts. They're made for each other. So the hair font is the match for the high priestess. And when this happens, you have temperance. Archangel Michael protecting this connection and balancing this connection and making sure that this connection is balanced and protected. I hope that makes sense. Having said that, I hope I helped you in some way and I will talk to you again soon.